dude. What is this? Welcome back everyone to the Birmingham No Roads Mission. A unique urban adventure which sees me and my brother Ben attempt to cross the UK's second city from Sandwell in the west all the way over to Solihull in the east without walking down a single road or canal. As you probably saw in part one, it's a feat that involves a lot of climbing, a bit of floating, and quite frankly, just as we rightly predicted, determination and will and dumb luck, to be honest. The second half of this mission promised to be a bit different, revolving mainly around a forgotten underground river that snakes its way through and under the industrial heartlands of Digbeth, Duddeston and Neichels. It was going to be disgusting, but first, a more pressing issue. So we've made it to the pub. This is kind of the halfway point, not not distance-wise, but kind of time-wise. We've just been told by uh, one of the bar staff that the top floor of Grand Central and the Bullring Shopping Centre are closed. But what did this mean? Well, if it were true, it simply meant that we wouldn't be able to take advantage of the convenient maze of indoor shopping malls that was supposed to lead us all the way over to St. Martin's Church in Digbeth, a change of pace and scenery that we were quite looking forward to. Luckily, there was an alternative option that involved using the pedestrianised shopping street of New Street. But even to get to that, we'd have to pass through the railway station, and there were now question marks over that too. Right, should we get moving? Yeah. The original plan to go into here, I don't even think it's worth asking. There's no way they're going to let us in there. That's how you get out of the station if you've got a ticket. We're trying to get in and we don't have a ticket, so I think, okay. yeah, I think, I think we can go up there. And we've probably, we're in, we're in the 50 metre zone, 100%. That'll do nicely. You've got to make sure we can get in now. Though. No, it's not a road. It's a docking bay. Let's go up here because that's the bit that we, that guy said was closed yeah. off. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's open. Closed. Or not. <laughs> ah, shit. Is the bull ring shut, mate? The bull ring and this centre phone's all closed for the day, yeah. Cheers. That was maybe short sighted on my part to not consider that the bull ring might be closed on Easter Sunday. I've never seen it. Closed. I've never heard of that. Um, can't get the stuff these days, can you, mate? Um, anyway, we've got a plan B, and it technically does fall under the rules that I've set. <laughs> They've got, they've got rid of the stairs over there, but we can go through there. That's perfect. Whoopee! Yippee! Thanks to this lovely little Victorian shopping arcade, we made it onto the pedestrianised New Street, through the middle of the Bullring and down towards Digbeth. The River Ree was only about 600 metres away from us now, but the route to it was about to get hot. Gloves on, is it, Ben? I don't know. What do you reckon? Yeah, probably. Although it does look a bit criminal, but yeah, definitely. Sorry. All right, mate. Just off the air, mate. Yeah, just the back up. Good. Let's do it, Ben. Plus side is, no one's going to be here. Yeah, this is usually pretty busy, isn't it? The old wholesale market site was being primed for construction and guarded by security. And a quick scout a few days earlier had failed to find a good exit point. If we could escape it, it was then over the road into Digbeth Coach Station, straight over another big fence in plain view of their security, and into more wasteland where we could finally slip down into the safety of the tunnels like two ninja turtles. It seems like the, they've got piling rigs, the van over there and a car. It seems like they are working on it now. This could be dodgy, man. We've just got to get to that corner down there. Butterflies are going now. You going down first? Keep walking. So if you 
can spot any movement over there. Oh shit, man. Do you reckon we just jog? Because I can't see anyone at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Because if anyone sees us, they know we're not meant to be here. Do they? Yeah. I just want to be over in that corner. Because it's difficult to get out of Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get out of. And we need to make sure we get out where we're supposed to get out. Let's just stop and see if anyone's moving. I can't see any movement. Watch out, watch out. Oh, mate. You can get over that quite easily. Should we have a look at this? It's all right. Careful. I don't like that, mate. I'm too scared of that. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not good either. It's right on your ass. It's right. Oh, that's okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Now. I didn't like that, mate. I don't know what it is. Straight over those, see those brown crates? Yeah. Okay, now it's into Digworth Coach Station. Well, mate, we're over a good bit there. Yeah. Mate, we're almost now home and dry for a good three or four miles. If we can just get over this. Where's that been? Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna go quick. Is it you? I'll do it here. Yeah, I can get on here. Yeah. Mate, I didn't know what had happened then because you you jumped up and then you just went silent. Hello. I thought someone had grabbed you or something. No, the panel fell off. Did it? Pulled it away. Shit. That guy's watching me the whole time. Yeah. Right, this is where we drop down into the river. Right, this is a fairly big drop. It's not too big, is it? Yeah. No, that's all right. That's big, dude. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. <coughs> you can go on this. That's like wood in my f***ing throat. So this, ladies and gents, is in a way an underground river which runs right underneath Birmingham me and Ben have actually explored this river which is called the River Re before a couple of years back during Covid but yeah it's really interesting it's obviously a man-made structure that was built in the Victorian times and I call it an underground river lots of it is kind of open air but even the open air bits, no one can, no one sees this river. I tell my mates about it and none of them have heard of it because it's just very, very hidden. And lots of it, as you'll see, is underground. Big long ratty tunnels that me and Ben are gonna have to go through today. Some of them kind of half a kilometer long. Yeah, let's see what we find down this river. That's what we're gonna find, guys. There's a lot of these little sewer runoff things that come out. And when it rains, oh shit, I'm slipping. Yeah, it's really slippery. When it rains heavily, those things just pump out shit. This is one of the few bits that people do walk by, isn't it? Grand old Victorian archways. Look at the brickwork in this thing, man. It's just an absolute feat of engineering, that is, for, for its time. Here's our first tunnel. It's gonna be pretty dark. It's not too bad because there's light coming in from the other side, but I think later on we won't have that luxury. 
Oh, pigeons. That is, in a way, terrifying. What do you think all this is then? Some toilets. Well, it, it's not raining, is it? So. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Now that is hilariously slippery, isn't it? You can start to see here, by the way, that it's getting quite dammed up, quite blocked up, because the water level's rising. And this is an indication of the inevitable dip that me and Ben are gonna have to take at some point. Is that a fish? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's still going, oh, it Little Jack Bunny. Well, that's encouraging. We were now moving past the hipster streets of Digbeth and further north away from the city centre. In two and a half miles, we'd be joining an even bigger river before sneaking underneath the heavily fortified M6. For now, though, we could make ourselves comfortable. It's not smelling good, mate. That is not smelling and or looking remotely good. Oh, man. I can't, des ah, can't describe the smell of that. Who is making rope swings here? Genuinely? Am I, am I the only one who's perplexed by that? Who is frolicking down here? Quite a big tunnel, is it? Mate. This is a big tunnel, isn't it, mate? I don't think we've come this far before. 100%. Me and Ben haven't seen the point where we left last time, but we must have done because we don't remember this at all. And we're thinking that this is the big long tunnel now that we're kind of dreading. This is crazy, man. Do we? Mate, this is so big. It's pigeons. It's just pigeons. Doesn't sound great though, does it? I will admit. It's gotta be pigeons, mate. What, what else can it be? Let's just walk briskly and we'll be out in no time. But I will admit it is creepy. I think above us, by the way, is like factory, a lot of factories, a big factory. There's the river look. This is pretty sick. I think you've got to enjoy it. Yeah. It's like a complete pitch blackness. I know. Shine it forward. <laughs> no, it is. There's no light at the end of the tunnel at the moment. I mean, if I do this. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, 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 God. Oh, there we go. There it is. Is that how high the water gets? Oh my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what that's like? Then it would be scary. Okay. Head torch off. Definitely an experience I won't forget. Like you are really far away from, from the outside world, aren't you? It's In the middle like of that. There were nodules in the river, which is clearly where the water goes. And we've walked past loads of these like yeah. blocked up shafts. That's pretty haunting, isn't it? God, if that went off, it I know, we would have shot a brick. Oh, that is rancid. What has happened to his head, man? That's why I'm not looking forward to going in this river. Tom just absolutely fell off over her head. <laughs> And I'm fine, but when you look at the shade, the sheen, the pastely sheen of that, got it. I didn't get it on film. There's still time for Ben to equal things out. Okay, providing there are no serious injuries, um, it's worth noting that me and Ben now will be travelling down this urban river for quite some time, uh, and it had to make up the second half of this uh, adventure. There was no other way to do it really. Um, so it's a good job that this exists. The point is we're gonna make some real ground on this now, all the way up until Costco, where it meets the River Tame and then things get really interesting again for the final leg. <laughs> the only time you're likely to slip over 
is when you encounter some shit flowing out the wall. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> oh, it's Ed. All right. All right, Ed. Do you want some supplies? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I'm in the shit, quite literally. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just scurry across the wall. Is anyone looking at you? Yeah. Ed! How can you not hear us? Ed's, Ed's been collared by some people. It wouldn't look like he was fly tipping, yeah. If he needs helping, mate, we can't get up. There is a ladder there. Alright, I'm gonna send it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. He's gone now. Ah, what a legend! <laughs> what a legend! Just, just say that again. So, what happened? So I was just um, sort of by the bridge, and I had to jump up because the this sort of wall's quite high. So I had to jump up and hold onto the railings. Yeah. And this car comes past, and he went, "Are you all right, mate?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." There's somebody down there. I said, oh, "Okay." And then this other car came, stopped. He got out. He was like, "Are you all right, buddy? You're not going to jump, are you?" I was like, no, 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 I'm not jumper. He was like, oh, that's good. And he, and he started talking to me yeah. for ages. And then I had to explain what was going on. He said, oh, that's mad, isn't it? It's good to know there's yeah, good people actually... around in Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's two people that were quite concerned. Oh, nice. Only two you, were, you must have that look about you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just want to end it. Some melancholy <laughs> about you. Okay, guys, we have a weir here. What's going on, Ben? Check this out. That is so aesthetically oh pleasing. <laughs> Mate, you could, couldn't you, if it wasn't sewage? If it weren't for the smell, I'd, I'd, I'd be a lot more okay with this. Look at that. That shit, mate. No, 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 no. Not into the shit. Oh, mate, this looks really bad. How are we going to get through this? Oh, that is horrible, mate. Please don't tell me that's poo. No, we'd smell that, mate. I fing am smelling it. Oh. We're going to be stooping. We don't want to. We don't want to fall in. Oh, oh, fing hell, mate. Oh, dude, where's that coming from? Oh no, Ben. What is it? I need to know. Basically, guys, we're going through. Oh, do you hear that? Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, Ben. What is this stuff? Go on your heels. I am, I'm trying. Oh, dude. What is this? Oh. How did it get up here? Oh, I feel that violated. Oh. I know it's not pure shit, but it, my, it had I my cold. it had all the consistency of diarrhea. I to break it to you, but we can't get down there, I don't think. Oh my. Yeah, that looks nigh on impossible. Oh God. That would have been better, mate. Oh, that would be better. Is there any way down? There isn't. We've got to go in. Oh, the steps there, look. Oh, that's good. I've got an idea. I might try and shimmy along. I shall not leave the beacon. There's another foothold, just, just like a brick. Mate, this is going to be exceedingly hard not to slip in. Oh, nearly went. If it looks like we're being real wetters about this, no pun intended, it's just the smell. It's so incredibly slippery. You'll do really well there not oh to fall God, in, mate. That is ridiculous. <laughs> no, dude. It will take you down. Oh, you can cheat and use that. Oh, you. Jammy. As you can 
sort of kind of see and definitely hear and for us smell we're just flanked by heavy industry around here would have been even more so years ago and you can just smell it i think it, that's part of the smell it's not just shit it's like petroleumy chemically smell that's all just seeping through these walls but we've got about a kilometer of this to go now until we get to costco where ed is going to meet us and give us the ladder oh mate this is it ben this is where we f have to just accept our fate there's no getting through that that man i'm going across here we are fish live in this water oh mate you can see this the oily sheen on top of it there's some are you seeing that yeah oh well that's mate that's just as well look at that there is no way in hell we really got over that without falling over a half a mile stint on this gunge free platform ended far too quickly. A look ends, I'm afraid. Oh no. I was going to say quicker is better, but maybe not. And it felt like it was only a matter of time before things got deeper. Oh, I'm dreading this, man. And also, how would we no, get it's doable? It's doable. We'd have to walk across again. On the left, we might be able oh, to. Okay. Very soon, the man-made brick structures that we'd become so accustomed to would soon be making way for the deep, murky waters of the River Tame. And with one last little rendezvous with Ed... Oh. ...and one final stinky tunnel... <laughs> ...it was time to find out what they had in store for us. That, mate, that is the M6. And this, right in the shadows of the M6, is where the Re meets the Tame. So this is an important moment. Partly because it signifies the last chapter, but also I, th I think this is where we get wet. This is going to be really interesting. Oh, come on. What? It's just <laughs> it's a river rapid. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Oh, okay. We can either do two things. We can go up all there, cross there, climb that horrible fence, go under the M6 a little bit, and then cross. We cross there by the M6. I think I know what you're about to say. What's the other thing? Walk all the way down. Yeah, we, we've got to get down and cross over there. And how are we going to climb up you're that wall? Gonna, you're never going to get over there. We've got to get up somewhere. So we began making our way up and around the bramble-filled banks of the River Tame, Bulldozer Ben in fifth gear, where we were seemingly presented with two options. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's like the Blue Nile. The first of which we didn't fancy because we're not storer. What a video that would make. And the second we didn't fancy because we're not Greg Rutherford. No chance. We've got to go over there. Do you reckon? Yeah, we've got to. I don't see any other way. Well, that's good, mate. That's going to be like six foot deep. We're going to be swimming. Can we, can we edge along the bank? Doesn't look very doable, does it? Come on then, let's just go. We're going to get wet, so. Oh, this is Griswold. Oh boy. So we've got to cross on that, haven't we? That heap of rubbish. Pretty insane place, isn't it, this? Not very nice. Yeah, no, this is not safe. Look at that. Yeah, get onto that island. Kind of step on it and jump. <laughs> so cool, isn't it? <laughs> You'll see what I mean about these trees, mate. They are not the sturdiest. <laughs> this is the hard bit. I wouldn't stand on that. I just took a leap. 
stand on that? No, no. What does it stand on? A leap of faith over to that. Mate, well done. What'd you make of that? That was cool, wasn't it? Oh. <sighs> yeah, let's go under the M6. Safe and sound. Sick. Well, this is the M6. That's good, isn't it? However, this wall looked mega tall from a distance, let alone yeah. up I mean, close. Just to be sure, you, like, your plan was to get up that and then over that metal fence. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously I can't see it on Google Earth because it's under the M6. Yeah, yeah. But that is a tall wall. It's a tall order, Benjamin. The good news is the river is quite shallow. The bad news is the wall goes on for f***ing miles. I wonder, and this sounds mad, but if there's anything we can prop up against the wall, a big log that we can climb up and then get up. Like, what's this, a bench? <laughs> We prop that up, we get on that, we're up, mate. I can't see any other way. Ben's sizing it up and he's realising that it is the only way. Oh. Oh. Does weigh a bit. Could do that ladder, couldn't we? Oh. We're just going over to it to see how high it actually is. Come on, give you a boost. Yeah, it's hard. I was thinking one hand on there, one foot on here. I think if you get your foot on here, you can reach the top. I'm also seeing a pole down there. Maybe we could get the pole. That's so slippy, mate. That's no, it, it ain't gonna work. If I could like hold you here, yeah. Go on then. Let's try that. <coughs> okay, keep me sturdy. Lift me up. Oh, mate, it's fucking rounded top. I don't know how you would get up. If you keep pushing, I reckon I could do it. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus, man. Now how the f are you gonna get up? I need to get a rope and tie a rope up here. Can you like hold the bag down and like pull the bag up? Let's try and put a bit of strain on. No, 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 that feels dodgy. Come on. Let me see if there's a rope around here. My feet are freezing. Oh, yeah, shit. Water this whole time. Man. Just... You could wade round and meet me on the other side. It's probably like half a mile. Yeah, for you, it's going to be about 700 meters. 600. Okay, maybe we didn't fully think it through, but Ben can't get up there, as you've seen. I can't get down there now, so that's a good job. Ben could follow this river round 700 meters, as you can see there. So he could be on that bank because it's not too brambly and he could meet me round there. I think that's what we're going to do. Right, I'm going to wang this. All right, it's quite heavy. Nice. When it goes back under the M6, that's where I'll be. But there goes Ben. Thanks to this very welcome gap, my slender frame wouldn't have to tackle this scary fence alone, and I was now inside the rather secure National Highways owned land that I would now need to follow for 500 meters while Ben hopefully skirted around. I knew I was gonna have to do some climbing in this section. The question was, would anyone be around to see me? Man, this is a tall wall. Checking for spikes. I didn't want to jump jump up and oh, that's not good. That is not too good. But I'm going over. Shit. At first, I thought these vans belonged to the factory to my left, 
but I was very wrong. Are you filming a film? Uh, TV really? Which one? one? Is it? This town, yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. Great town. <laughs> I might. I'll get off the set. I'm doing my own little adventure. Right. Got to climb over this wall. Good luck. That's crazy. Ooh. Don't mind me. <laughs> Shit. That's not good. <clears throat> yes. Oh boy. Don't look, mate. Don't you look. Oh dear, that was loud. That's okay. And we are through. And I'm going to get a jog on. Ooh. I'll just take a quick little clip under here, guys, because um, the battery's running really low. This space under here is quite something, isn't it? And this is usually used for storing road signs and traffic cones and things. This bit isn't, but they're the people who own this land. But can you believe they were filming a series? A TV series and I just happened to be on the set. Can you imagine if you saw me just like this sneaking through the bushes in the background? I'm gonna climb over here, wait for Ben. I might even walk down the bank a bit to meet him, the poor bugger. Okay, we're down. We're in safe legal area now, believe it or not, where I can wait for Ben. His bank doesn't look too great though. What is that? Right, I'm gonna see if I can intercept Ben. Cause I'm bored. There is a chance that Ben, for some reason, couldn't get through here. I've got no phone on me. Okay, you do the, the math. So either I find Ben now and it's all fine. All right, oh, there he is. Are you on the road? Basically, I, I did really well. I had to come up walked a little bit dipped back in and then saw that it just got worse and then kind of crossed into a car park okay okay so oh so it's a car park well it was a bit of both but i kind of went through a car park do you think you failed hard to say okay ben's exploits which saw him venture up onto the grounds of this factory did see him walk down a road for over 50 meters. However, this is all strictly private and not accessible to public or Google car. So the jury is out over whether Ben actually failed or not. Either way, my mission was still alive and kicking and there was still some work to be done. Much to Ben's dismay, it involved following this filthy river for another 500 meters. If we could manage it, all that would stand between us and Solly Hull was a series of smooth pathways. But this river had a few more tricks up its sleeve first. Right, GoPro batteries have run out really stupidly. Uh, hopefully the banks slash the river aren't too bad. So we want the river to be shallow and the banks to be like this. This is great. We've reached the point that I came from. The banks continue, do they? Okay. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh mate. This is not going to be good Ben. These are our options. Oh. Which is the least deep? It's quite fast flowing, I won't lie. It's pulling me. Hello oh. bud! Is it literally sliding you along? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, I am confident now that we can straddle this bank for the 200 meters remaining. I just don't get what this footbridge is here. What does that serve? No, no, that is not. That is shit, mate. Yeah, you gotta climb up and over. Bulldoze it for me, mate. 
don't topple leftwards. How's it looking now, Benny? Do you know what that is? That's uh, the HS2 depot that they're building. What's that noise, mate? There's like work going on here, isn't there? Seems like we've actually got to sneak through here, believe it or not. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of work going on up here with the HS2. Don't know about this, mate. And the river gets deep as well. I think we've got 100 or 200 meters to go. I'm just hoping we can get through this and that there's no workers. Let's get down. We'd slipped past the HS2 site, but we were now in danger of slipping straight into the river's deepest pit yet. Oh, oh no. What are the odds of walking across that and not going in there? Because that's going to be so deep. We go over that way, but that looks hell. That's going to be deep on that side though. Or we go back round and start from the beginning and go and try and like go down the third one along. All the time. What, uh, what about... Yeah, what about trying it? So it's not like it's going to sweep us away. It might, though. It might. Yeah, it will, mate. Yeah, back round we go. To be honest, we need to be careful, whatever we do. Like, <laughs> it could take us all the way down. Yeah, true. OK, we're going for the ledge. I'm right behind you, Ben. It's very deep to the left, isn't it? Yeah, because if we go in there, we could slide all the way down to that weir. That's, that's the danger. Oh, that's so powerful. Oh my God. Look how clean the water looks. G'day. Okay, we're out. What are you saying, Ben? Like, try that ledge. Shit. Yeah, it looks just... Mm. <laughs> that looks stacking as fuck. Yeah, that looks horrendous, mate. Not really. Not really. For fuck's sake, why is it so hard? I, I don't want to be in that one. That looks absolutely, seriously horrific. I'm, I'm, think, I'm already thinking of ways that we'd try and pull one another out of that. But just stay close to the wall. It's not too bad, but take it slow, man. You yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Although, it does look muddy over there. But we can't rock Yeah, 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 we can't. We certainly can't do that. Okay, you hold that. It's not going to be that muddy, is it? Nice. That was death, man. Right, I'm really hoping now we can stay on this bank for a good while. Come on, let's eat up some yards now. Come on, man. I'm starting to really want this thing to be over now. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> Mate, that might be the road that Ed's on, you know? Could be. Okay, we're further along than I thought and Ed should be over there somewhere, which is great news. And we've got a relatively shallow crossing point. Take it away, Benjamin. Can't believe we've avoided deep water. Yeah. <coughs> Help. Mm. I've been down here for 12 years. <coughs> we're, we're, we're down here, aren't we? That. Sweet. And this is what we follow for quite some time, really. That's it, we're out of there. We're out of, mate, I think we've done all the hard stuff. 
we could literally follow this to the end now. Oh, oh yes. Here he is, Uncle Ed. And he's brought with him Auntie Dawn this time. <laughs> My lips are so chapped that I need uh... um, Perhaps they're doing on the park with the kids. Oh well. You know, it's diversity to get used to it. Sit? You can see, see that. <laughs> are you joking? Trust me, the devil. Are you sure, joking, Doc? So <laughs> 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 Do you honestly think that was uh, invisible? <laughs> Mate, you can look at yourself. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I look like um That's genius, Dawn. I look April like... Falls was the other day, but <laughs> Welcome now. to the channel, Auntie Dawn. <laughs> You're my wife now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the water and the batteries. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit. Right, last stretch now and well it's gonna be a walk in the park, quite literally, because this is a park. Trying my best not to film the kids. Yeah, we're on YouTube, yeah? Do you want to be on? Geo Wizard? You gonna be on it? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a mission complete, man. How do you feel? Lipstick boy? Uh, uh, I feel myself. <laughs> do you feel yeah. like you've accomplished something that's never well you have accomplished something that's never been done, but is it a is it too niche or is it <laughs> is it of note? Different terrain constantly changing in, in uh, an area that you always go to. Yeah, you're it's fascinating. To, and then like you're like, well, I've just done this, that, that, that. I've never seen any of that before. Yeah. Um, and I do like the idea of slicing through the city in a way that hasn't been done. It's, yeah. It's pretty cool. If it weren't for all the naughty illegal shit, I'm sure a lot of people would find that a very fascinating ex experience. For 1.4 miles, we snaked our way through the long strip of parkway that would lead us to this large solly hull straddling roundabout, attempting to quantify what we'd done until finally... We're here, mate. We are here. Here we are. Should we, should we do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. Should we jog the last bit, Ben? Oh. Why not? I can see a red car. Can you? Yeah. Oh, this feels good. This feels quite good. Shut up! This is the border here. And I've got to say, it's a weird victory. But if we don't get run over, and we've done it, we've done it. There it is. We've arrived, we're in Solly Hull. Wow. Wow. You know, mate. That was great, that was. Unbelievable. How are you doing, your eyes? Oh. We need two minutes. Really? What timing? What a support man today. Yeah. Incredible. He literally yeah. got, he busted open the fire doors in a pub so that we could get in the back. Did he tell me that? No, no. The Easter egg. Yeah, I think we know how this is going to go. Let's see what condition. Did the Easter egg survive? It's the final point. Oh, it's, it's neatly stacked. That is mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Neatly stacked indeed. I think you should have a score. Made in Birmingham. <laughs> Just briefly, because we want to go the hell home. How would you sum up that adventure, Ben? Uh, different. There's a lot more brambles than I would have hoped and liked and appreciated. I don't think there was that much. Well, that's for me, buddy. I feel like we've tapped into a vein of adventure that hasn't been done much at all. And maybe stinky in years... <laughs> very stinky vein. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I, I f***ing love that. Um, I hope you did too. So there you have it. The Birmingham No Roads mission. The most epic urban adventure I've ever embarked on. But was it a success? Well, yes. We travelled over 11 miles across one of Europe's most populated cities, overcoming all manner of obstacles in order to stick to our route. There were moments where we thought it was all over and had to improvise, and there were moments where we had to compromise. With three strays into that 25 to 50 metre zone, making it a gold run. 
Ben's heroic sacrifice made his run slightly less pure still, but all things considered, I think the mission can be called a success, and that's before we mention the avoidance of hepatitis, mercury poisoning, injury or handcuffs. We live to fight another day. See you in the next adventure.